happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Ebert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us we have the Eaton FR250. This is an AM FM shortwave emergency portable radio. And I perform a daytime medium wave band scan with it. First will go over features, second will do a size comparison, and third will start cruising the daytime band. So here it is, the Eaton FR250. Now the FR200 and the FR300 are also great radios. The FR300 introduces the weather band and I think drops the shortwave. Some people like having shortwave. So I think this is a good in-between. You have your FM, AM, and then they split the shortwave band to seven segments here. They start a little higher. I'll show you the full coverage. It's printed on the back. Uh, this is neat because most people have mentioned that, you know, if you're in a bad weather situation, you could tune to like a news station, like an AM station, and listen for uh, weather. And that's actually pretty smart. Um, and you'll get uh, breakthroughs, you know, no weather will do alarm tones, even on AM or FM. So just tune to a local station and you'll be able to get, you know, up-to-date weather information. So you don't quite need to have the weather channels. It seems like when I tune my weather channels, I'm always getting uh, lake updates, even though I don't live near the Lake Michigan. <laughs> Gotta love it. So here it is, the FR250. You can find these for $20 to $30 mint, brand new in the box. Now remember, these came out in 2005. Absolutely amazing. You can still find them new in the box. Like mine, I think, was like 20 I lucked out. I uh, got a good deal on this one. The prices have gone up a little bit since I bought this radio. This might have been like three years ago I bought this. But yeah, i give you an idea. Um, you can get the 200 I think the 300 for similar prices. I'll have links below for you guys to check out. Yeah, down in the comments section there. So let's look at what we have here. So we got a power generator. So if I spin this, this little red LED will light up. It has a little tiny battery pack in there, <laughs> mainly to run the radio. I wouldn't use it to charge cell phones. Remembering it is 2005 tech, back then cell phone batteries were pretty tiny. <laughs> they weren't very big, uh, that's for sure. Um, so let's look and see what we got here. We got a three LED flashlight, which we have a little switch here for. Turn it on. Boom. Red light, red light flasher there. That's kind of cool. Um, so over here we got our bands, FM, 88108, uh, AM, or medium wave band, 530 to 1710. And then the short wave, they've broken into seven segments there. As you can see, band select switch, FM, AM, short wave, middle there for AM. Showed you the light switch. We have a siren. <coughs> Yay. <laughs> Get help now. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. We're in off position. Uh, if my rechargeable battery was charged, Put it in this position, and we're playing off the rechargeable battery, and all the way up is the AA batteries, which we're going to run on because I'm a fan of AA batteries. The little battery pack they give you in here would only run the radio for so long, so it's always best if you're going to have a radio like this, just pack an extra fresh set of AA's always, uh, and re refresh them every year or so, or every couple of years, just to make sure that uh, it's ready to go in an emergency if that's what you're using it for. This radio can be used as a normal radio too; it doesn't have to be used as an emergency, which I find nice. Um, so yeah, down here we have our band select for shortwave. It's like a rotary. That's nice. Easy. Tuning controls. We have a fine in the center, which is pretty nice. And then we got the coarse tuning on the outside. Our dial indicator is like a simple translucent piece with a little red. It's not super accurate, but it gets the job done and it gives you an idea where you're at, sort of. <laughs> a volume control here. Uh, pretty basic. I do like the analog. Everything's analog on here. There's no DSP, which is fantastic. A metal speaker grill, and we got about a two and a half inch speaker behind there. All right, right inside, you see all those tuning controls. Top of the radio, we have a cool carry strap, along with that red LED showing the charge status as you're spinning the dynamo. Little metal hooks holding this handle in place, nice. Back of the radio also has a nice little finger grip. Thought that was neat to see. And then we have a really long antenna here. We have a 26 inch antenna for our FM and shortwave reception, which is fantastic. It's all you need for this radio. You don't have to hook up anything extra to that. There's a shortwave coverage, 5.9, 5 megahertz to 17.9. And then we have, of course, the other bands. And then we have the headphone jack, which is fantastic. They included that. There's a DC input of five volts to charge the battery and also to run the radio. There you go. Reverse polarity, look at that. Outside sleeve is positive, and the pole is negative. Usually that's reversed. 
Then down here we have a phone charger. But uh, yeah, even the little adapters don't work anymore. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I was going to open up this battery compartment here. See what we have in there. With three AA batteries. Nice. And it shows the orientation on the piece of plastic there, the battery door. And you can see there for yourself, top batteries positive to the right, bottom battery positive to the left. And then the little nickel metal hydride battery is plugged in here. I usually unplug it when I'm not running the radio. I didn't know if I was going to be charging it or not, but I think I'm just going to run off double E's. That's the way to do it. So this is actually pretty easy to close. That's one nice thing about that door. There we go. All right, quick size comparison. We'll start cruising the band, right? Yeah, so you got an idea for what this radio does. I did a full review on it. If you want to know more about it, uh, you can check it out. I'll have it up here in the iCards. I'll give you an idea. And then maybe I'll have some of its sibling. I did the FR200. I have the red version. So here's my CC Pocket for size comparison. So you can see it's, it's a pretty compact radio. Uh, the CC Pocket is showing the time of 9.12 a.m. at Central Daylight Time in near Chicago, Illinois, USA. I'm starting out kind of early, but I've noticed that uh, it's a good time to start because sunup was around 5.15 a.m. So next we have CC Skywave. Getting a little bit bigger there. There you are. Digital shortwave radio. That's fantastic. That has everything you need. Swiss Army Knife of radios. Nice. And then we, of course, deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves shortwave radios from Eaton Land. He's Iron Man, who loves portable radios, man. <laughs> oh, focus, dude. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's turn this on. So we're at the bottom of the AM band. Here's FM, AM. Shortwave. Okay. So I'm going to fine tune. Now, like any radio, uh, it has an internal antenna. So for medium wave, it uses a special loop stick and it's orientated at the top of the radio. You'll see me turning it towards the station's direction, broadcasting direction, to tune it in better. So let's show an example of that. Okay, I think our first station's here 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. I aim it to the north, it should come in. Turns out that the power of K Street and the lobbying power of the pharmaceuticals is so great that there's bipartisan. Uh, and it goes away. Isn't that cool? It's like magic. Now in the evening, it's kind of cool because uh, you might get stations to this direction, which is the west for me, or the east. It's bi-directional. This antenna works both ways. And you might get stations only to the north and or to, south. Uh, to sell drugs at something that would be a price. So pretty neat. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep tuning. I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm sorry. That's okay, Lul. Oh, yes. A pet brother, Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent. Well, listen, that's a real Canada. I bet you get... Here's 560 to be IND, Chicago. Jerry in Clearwater. Jerry, who do you like as a better selection than Liz Cheney? I was going to say anybody, but I have the perfect candidate. She's turning 35. She'll be, she'll be eligible to be elected. AOC. AOC. Hey, I knew you were going to say that. When you said she's turning 35, <laughs> AOC, the former bartender. Oh, yeah. But, 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 can we, but listen, seriously. Let's look at that for a minute. Keep on to go the wrong way. <laughs> you can tweet us at 1A. I'm Jen White. Back with more in just a moment. Okay, this is um, 580 WILL, Urbana, Illinois. 150 miles to the south. Now, it's a little, uh, it's got some noise to it. Let's see if we can't clear the noise up. I'm going to bring in a Turk Advantage passive loop, and I might be using this a little bit with this radio. This is a great passive loop. No batteries required. And you tune this center knob to the frequency you're trying to receive and boost. So I'm going to put a perpendicular to the top of the radio, so I'm putting it right next to the radio here. And I'm going to tune it in and listen. And we might play it on air. Here we go. tune in Monday through Thursday at 11 a.m on AM 580 and 6 p.m. on FM 90.9. You're busy, but you still want to keep up on news in Central Illinois. That's why WILL created our daily news podcast, 217. There you go. Put that off the table. We get the call letters. Nice. Okay, so we can't find any more distant stations. It's a great little radio. I'm pretty impressed with its medium wave reception. Going the wrong way. Come on. Okay, 
It's a weak signal here. It's just 590 WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan, about 140 miles away. Bringing a loop in. Morning, Washington. I'm looking out over the horizon and I see about 20 boats with this. So, I mean, you can get inexpensive loops, I think for around 28 bucks, 25 bucks. They work pretty well, and sometimes you get used select antennas for almost 20 bucks. Those are nice from Sea Crane. They'll do the job. This is about 49. It's a little, it's like the premium of passive loops. I like it because it's really good uh, fine tuning, getting the station to come in nice and clear. There we go. Okay, this station is 600 WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles to the west. Loop again, running a perpendicular to where the antenna should be. And what it's doing is it's passing its gain, it's collecting with this loop of wire just by being in proximity to the radio's internal antenna. And it works with almost every AM radio. You get fantastic results. Just go to this exclusive web address, Does it signal that there's really not that allegiance anymore to Miller or Miller Pro? 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I don't think that there is any Pointed to the north, it should improve. But I am saying to you, if you say Miller Beer... You think Milwaukee? Absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe our generation thinks that. But maybe the, the younger generations don't think that. That's why I really would love to hear from somebody that, that's not of the uh, baby boomer generation, 855-616-1620. So no more Hispanic music on 640 WMFN Pietone, Illinois. Now it's the Black Information Network. I like the fine tuning, it's nice. 670. Good tone quality. WSCR Chicago, home of the Cubs. Same day or next day delivery expected, but not guaranteed with entry close to final destination. Meet Boost, the amazing, amazing vitamin boost that make you feel like. I like the boosted boost. turned down by the Everly Brothers and Elvis Presley, so Orbison decided to record the song himself. This guy is one of my favorite artists of all time. I 720 WGN Chicago. Him and uh, saw him at the Park West uh, quite a few years ago when he made his comeback. I think that's Seven fifty WNDZ Portage, Indiana. Today on More to Life on the EWTN Global Catholic Radio Network. I'm Lisa Popchak. I'm Dr. Greg Popchak. Today our show is titled Increase Your Emotions. Fisher Investments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly different money management. Investments and securities involve the risk of loss. Seven eighty WBBM Chicago Old Time Radio is Monday through Old Time Radio shows Monday through Friday. Um, 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time. If you can tune in 780 WBBM from your area, you can hear it clear. Go ahead and tune it in and have some fun. And if you're up that late. On select new models. Stop by Berman, formerly Man Carey, or visit BermanCDJR.com today. WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois. Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds. Here's the faint station. Right here. So it is Milwaukee, Wisconsin on 860 WNOV. It's around 220 watts, I believe. We're going to bring a loop in and strengthen the signal. Here in Milwaukee. 
Did you know that the governor has invested millions of dollars into black-owned small business grants? These grants have helped thousands of Milwaukeeans continue to work. So there you go. You don't really need the loop, but it really helps. Move the radio away and you're not going to hear anything. I knew it was there, so that's why I had the radio tuned in that direction. Thought I heard something here. This is 870 W. This might be a reach 200 miles away. There it is. WKAR, East Lansing, Michigan, 200 miles away. Nice. I knew it was there. <laughs> you don't hear anything now. It's amazing. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer. Desk. Here's 890 WLS Chicago. Sponsored job credits by interviewing on Indeed. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Terms and conditions apply. Good morning. Taking a look at WLS traffic at 925 on the... So here's 920 to be OKY in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Big Badger. We're not trading you. Like you got a contract. They should have did that already. You got keys on. And this part of this song had everybody on their feet. That's that. It was a great song. Back when music was good. Yeah, back when, back when Lindsey Buckingham was. They made up. I actually lost all my, I mean, I, I'm a lifelong diehard fan of Fleetwood Mac, but I actually, I completely lost um, Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Keep going. <laughs> but it doesn't ruin the, the music at all. That's why 35 years ago, hearing that song now. I wonder if it is uh, 9.30. Let me just check. Got my Skywave handy, and I can just plug in the Met frequency real quick. Okay, I thought it was on 9.30. Usually it's relevant radio, but they're talking about music, so <laughs> they usually don't. They're usually talking about something else. It'll be BKM, rele uh, Relevant Radio, Sandwich, Illinois. I don't know, but let's make the most of what we got right now. Let's go to Melissa and Mercedes. Good morning. Going the right way? I guess I'm kind of stuck. It's not going to be well received by so many Americans who are... Uh, my... Going back and forth because I missed 940. Boy, well, it's pretty hard to pick up. This is 940 w WFAW, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. I wonder what it sounds like with the Skywave here. Yeah, it's having a hard time getting it with 942. Okay, cool. You know, um, about, about... 950, WNTD, Relevant Radio again, Chicago. So, um, yeah, it's... Hmm. Do we want Justin Fields? That was 1,000. Conventional rhythm that's been floating around that asserts that, you know, it, it's very natural for the public to deprioritize climate change um, during a moment of sort of economic concern and economic threat. And so that, you know, as places worry about inflation and talk about concerns go up, um, that reduces... A lot of noise today, but I think I bring the loop in. It'll definitely cut that noise down. Let's just show you. Maybe we can tune a little quicker if we have to. People who care about climate change in the U.S. and the public broadly, they want Congress to be, you know, walking and chewing gum at the same time. Um, and, and all of the polling Helps data a bit. and... Uh, 970 WHA, Madison, Wisconsin. research confirms that. But the second issue is how big a priority is... So, yeah, big difference. Uh, certainly, or they have offensive weapons. Maybe Darnell Mooney really is a number one caliber receiver. I think that they have the ability that... 1,000 WMVP Chicago ESPN. In the middle of the first round. You can hit picks late in the second. 
biznesmenu, tym, co naprawdę im potrzeba tych pieniędzy. A oczywiście tym, którym się spodoba gra, zapraszamy do zapisania się do naszego klubu. WNBR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. Z najlepszych klubów w Stanach Zjednoczonych i posiada najlepszych zawodników w Chicago. WLIP on 1050, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Ten seventy WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. This is really is, yeah. It's kind of like where, where they where they give you some with the WNWI on 1080, Oklahoma, Illinois. Eleven ten WXES, Chicago. Intersections of prayer could be charitably described as a train wreck. Now it started out okay. Here's 11:30 WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. How he would incentivize students pursuing training in high demand fields. This is one of his campaign's planks. He says we are going to incentivize students. Never forget why the Lord gave us this instruction. Intersections of prayer is a reminder that this. Here's WYLL 11:60, Hope for Your Life, Chicago. Illinois Christian Radio. For us to pray, not just the rote prayer itself, but all of the things that come. Yeah, WSQR, the squirrel on eleven eighty, Sycamore, Illinois. The squirrels are on my radio. Yeah. Nice. So coming in good today. Twelve hundred WRTO Chicago. Most people will come across here, Laurie. Is uh, if we had this, you know, two or four years ago, I can't remember, but a similar situation. Uh, and I think it was when we had the. Uh, this is twelve uh, thirty WCLO Jamesville, Wisconsin. Barely pick up 1220. WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. Let's bring a loop in real quick. Then we're going to have to go really quick through the scale. There you go, there's 1220. WKRS, nice. Okay. Twelve thirty again. Twelve forty to BSBC Chicago. I think I heard a hint of twelve sixty, but I'm going to keep going. Twelve eighty WBIG Aurora Illinois. More than the previous year, the department with the most arrests was Decatur, which booked three hundred fifty. Thirteen hundred WRDZ Lagrange Illinois. Thirteen ten WIBA Madison, Wisconsin. Much at all if you want to be, be trained to become a welder or a machinist. Mixing stations thirteen thirty WNTA Rockford and WKTA Evanston.
The owner of Victory Research said past elections... 1360 WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. ...has a, a well-deserved reputation of being a blue state. Doesn't always act... Rocking out on 1380 WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. Yeah, fun. I think this is 1390 Gospel Radio, WGRB, Chicago, Illinois. Just barely coming in 1400 WRJN, Racine, Wisconsin, other music station. They came back from the war, and uh, what they were racing, uh, they had the Duesenbergs, uh, the Oldfield had a car, Chevrolet, and so on. Uh, Here's 1410 WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. And uh, the Mercers from uh, New Jersey. So these cars came back and they were. Winter for them at this time of year. And that Eastern Europe was not having. The rest of us were having. We've got a couple of big rainstorms. It's the weather. And all of this, look, all of this is fine. Okay, okay. Okay, this is 1440 WROK, Rockford, Illinois. We just double check. The frequency, it's always nice to have a little frequency checker by your side if you're using an analog. Okay. Uh, we've actually lowered our CRP frequency because it's getting colder. Yeah, that's right. Not doing too bad. Anybody yelling at them? No, they're just yelling at us. That's coming kind of really weak. That's uh, Iron Country. Yeah, it's weak on my Skywave, too. Let's just uh, loop it again. Why not? We'll run it to the end here. So if you're having a rough time uh, on a daytime signal, get one of these Turks, man, really nice. Uh, as you saw, the Skyway was on a hard time, and it's usually a hot little receiver. So yeah, this Turk's really making a difference. And a station. Nice. We'll zip up the band here. I'm barely picking up 1520 WLUV, Loves Park, Illinois. There are a few stations in between there that this isn't going to pick up today. Uh, 1590 WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Sixteen twenty, boy, we could probably pick that up. We could bring the loop in again. There you go. The sixteen twenty traffic advisory radio, Lake County, Illinois. You got the date and time. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and see so anything else. Sixteen forty. I'll loop it just because. So there is a cause and effect relationship, as he puts it, between bad behavior. So yeah, WSJP. Uh, so I think relevant radio, Sussex, Wisconsin. Yeah, sixteen forty. I don't know if that helps you, but that came to my mind. It's gonna leave a loop there. That doesn't. I thought. Uh... 
Not the wrong way. They'll discount that. Will you, what will you think when Brett Bielan lost the Barely make it out till I tweak the loop. Uh, 1670 WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin. Yep, 1670. Nice. One more station. WBON. This is Chicago, Illinois. Nice. Well, then we're done. Okay, cool. Big in the past. It really helped our day with a rough reception, but it's just a particular day. This guy was struggling too as well. But uh, there it is, the FR250. Is it still a viable radio today? Yeah, it sure is. But you can find these for 20 bucks, new mint in a box still. Um, you can pick up the 200. Um, if that's your style, just check them out, see which ones you like. Or if you want uh, the weather band, you don't need shortwave, go with the 300. But it seems like everybody wants shortwave. So uh, 200 or the 250s are, are a great little model. Uh, I like both of them. Um, partial to either one. I do like the 200. I think the 200, to me, seems a little bit more durable, but this is just a stocky built. So yeah, it's either one. It's a good choice. So I'll put links below for you guys. Uh, if you like the video, give a big like. You guys are fantastic. I'm glad you guys watch my channel all about portable radios. It's awesome. Uh, two, if you like the Eaton brand radios, uh, so hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. I'm going to try to find a few more models of this because I, I do like them. I don't have the 300. I like to get that and review it and see how that one's a how that one performs. And then, of course, uh, comment below what you think about the FR250. Is it an emergency radio or just a backup radio or just a radio you get every day just because it's unique and different? I really like its style. Um, it just looks well made. A lot of people agree. So I'm pretty happy with it. So there it is. Let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.